right. Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Shalom. You know, first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and name of His Son, Yahweh Shai. And you know, this video, I'm finna break down James chapter 2. Because, man, James chapter 2 is mighty. And like, you know, James chapter 2 is one of, like, hey, the book of James is one of my favorite books now. You know, it ain't, you know, it ain't better than Obadiah to me, you know. I don't think it'll never top Obadiah. But James is one of my favorite short books. You know what I'm saying? Especially chapter 2. Chapter 2 is very mighty. You know what I'm saying? Going into, because a lot of our people is like this. For um, what I'm finna read, for what I'm finna go into, a lot of our people is like this. They treat the rich person, they got money way different than they treat the poor brother. You know, and that what goes back into Hebrews 13 and 2 when it says you can, um, you know how you have some people uh, in, in, entertaining angels unaware. As I'm paraphrasing it. You know, let me, matter of fact, let me get it. It's a like, I'm sure. I'm gonna put my phone down, I'm gonna my phone down my hand, right? So let me, let me get Hebrews, I'm gonna get Hebrews um, 13 and 2 real quick. It's Hebrews chapter 13 and 2. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. So man, it don't matter if that brother look poor, treat him like you'll treat that rich brother that got money. Because hey, angels can come as people. You know, you have a lot of angels that, you know what I'm saying, that you talk to every day and you don't even know it. So make sure you treat that poor brother the same way you treat that rich brother. Because the angels are out here recording, taking notes. So this Hebrew, I mean, this James chapter 2 verse 1. It says, my brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Yahushua, the Lord of glory, with, res with, with respect of persons. For if there will come unto you assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come unto you also a poor man of our raiment, and ye have respect to him that weareth gay clothing, and say unto him, sit thou here in a good place, and say unto the poor, stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not then part... Partial in your or in yourselves, and are become judges of evil thoughts. Uh, let me see if I want to keep going. Hereby, my beloved brethren, has not Yahweh chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and hearers of the kingdom which He hath promised to them that love Him? So basically, what it's saying is, the poor brother, most of the poor brothers, they rich in faith. You know, a lot of poor people are humble. You have a lot, a lot of rich people that's not humble. They boast, they boast a lot, and then the Most High got to judge them. But the people that's humble. That mostly be the people that don't got that much because they understand how, how it feels to be at the bottom so they humble so and also going to when you, you you can't treat that person different because he got a gold ring because he got nice clothes he might got a suit on suit and tie but then you look at your brother you know he kind of dirty he ain't took no shower you can't treat that brother that didn't take no, that didn't take no shower different from that brother that that got the money you can't do that because the most high is not dealing with that and it says hearken my beloved brother have not Yahweh chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and hers of the, the kingdom which he has promised to them that love him. But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw ye before the judgment seats. And it would have remind me of, man. It remind me of the so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? He rich. You know, they own everything. They own everything. And it's, I be seeing this on some, on some movies, too. The so-called white man, they own everything. And now people treat him like, um, like a god. But then they look back at their people like they niggas. They look at this white man like he's like he a god, like he royalty, like he a king. They treat him different, right? Then they treat the brother that look just like him. That might that may not got that much. They treat him different. They call him nigga. And they call they that white uh man boss. Sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They they see that they treat him different than their brother. So you can't treat no you can't treat your brother different than anybody, man. And vice versa with like you know, you have a, a, a rich so-called black man, a so-called rich black man. You can't treat him different than you treat that poor brother. You can't do that. So I got, um, but ye have this, oh, it's like you. But do not a rich man oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats. Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by which ye are called. If you fulfill the royal law according to the scriptures, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, you do well. But if ye have respect to persons, um, ye commit sin. So if you got respect to persons, you commit sin. You can't respect no you can't you can't treat no brother, no sister different than another brother. That's respect the person. Are you treating a brother different because he got money? 
you treat them different because you got all the females. Brothers do that in the world. I remember in the world, brothers do that. Brothers treat a female, I mean, brothers treat a dude that get all the females different than another brother that may not be getting all the females. That's, you know, that's just vibing. It's, they, they, they put that brother on a high pedestal and just get all the females. They just, you know what I'm saying? Just females. But brothers put them on a high pedestal, or maybe because they got, they got, they got a, a good, they got a nice car. They drive, they drive in a, um, a Hellcat. You know what I'm saying? They treat that brother different than that other brother that riding a doom buggy, driving a doom buggy. You can't do that. You gotta treat both of them brothers the same at the end of the day because they're your brother, and you have to love them. You have to love them as you love yourself. And it says, um, but if you have respect to persons, you commit sin and are convicted of the law as transgressors. So if you have respect to persons, you commit sin. Period. Period. It ain't no getting around that. If you have respect to persons, you commit sin. So I got um. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. So it's, let me get this again because it's very important. This chapter ten, I mean verse ten. For whoso for whoso shall commit the whole, I mean keep the whole law and, and, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. So you might be keeping the whole law. You keeping the dietary law. You ain't get no tattoos. You wearing your fringes. You don't got no bald head. You got you keeping your beard, but. You ain't loving your brother because you love yourself. You got respect to persons. And you just broke the whole law. Just that one, that commandment that you're not keeping, you just broke the, that just uh, put you in breaking the, all the laws. Because you ain't, you, you just broke that one. So if you break one of them, you break all of them. So always be like, a brother wearing fringes, a brother um, ain't getting no tattoos, but he eating pork. You know what I'm saying? He, he broke all, he might have well broke all the commandments. So he says, for he that says, do not commit adultery, said also, do not kill. Now, if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgression of the law. So you don't, man, you don't broke the law. If you say, if you say, um, do not, do not commit adultery and do not kill, um, but if you don't commit the adultery, but you, but you killing out here, killing people, you still broke the law. So speak ye and so do as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. For he shall have judgment without mercy that hath showed no mercy and mercy rejoice against judgment. But does it profit my brethren thy man say he hath faith and have no works? Can faith save you? If a brother or sister be naked and dis dis destitute of daily food and one of you say unto them depart in peace be ye warned and filled um, notwithstanding you give them not those things which are needed to the body what does it profit? So faith without works is dead. Period. Faith without works is dead. You can't please the most high without faith. And you have to have works to show the most high that you have faith. And that's the example when we were going into. You telling somebody, you know, you finna you finna send somebody on their way, but you ain't giving them the things that they need to survive. You're not giving them what they what they need to survive. You have to have the works. You can tell them all. You can you can say that you can say that you got faith in them. You can say that you can tell them to be careful, to be safe. But you, but if you're not giving them things that they need to be safe and be careful with, are you really doing what you're supposed to be doing? And it says, um, even so, faith if it has not works is dead, being alone. Yeah, it's a lot, of, and it's a lot of so-called Christians like that. They say they have faith in God, but they ain't doing nothing that the Most High wanted them to do. Like, how is you showing the Most High that you that you love Him? How are you showing the most high that you got faith in him? You just can't say, I got faith in you, Lord. What is you doing to show him? Are you, do you have any works? What, where is your work set? Is the most high seeing your works on a daily basis? This is something that you should be asking yourself. And it says, um, and it says, Yea, yea man may say, Thou hast faith and have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. So show me show me your faith without your works. Show me what you show me that you believe in God. And you don't got no works. And I show you that I believe in him by my works. I show you I, I keep the commandments. I, I wear my fringes. Um, I, uh, I don't get no tattoos. I don't eat no pork. I don't uh, commit adultery. I don't um, I don't um, have sex with the opposite sex. You know, I love my brother if I love myself. That's showing the that's showing my faith right there because I got works. If you got faith, you are gonna keep the commandments. You gonna have some type of works. You gonna go out there and make videos. You gonna go out there and bring the lost sheep in. That's your works. You gonna go out there and pass flies out. That's your works. And it says, um, thou believest that there is one God. Thou dost well. The devil also believeth and trembles. 
But would thou know, O veil man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham my father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son to the altar? Yes, the Most High tried Abraham back back in the beginning. He tried Abraham to see the, to see that Abraham really believed. He told Abraham to set his son up as a um as a sacrifice. But it was just it was just a test. It was, he, Abraham so, showed his works because he was willing to do that for the Most High. That was his works right there. And it says, um, seeing thou how faith wrought with his works, and by the works was faith made perfect, and the scriptures were fulfilled with faith. Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. So just by him doing that, he was called the friend of God. Yet, uh, it's like ye see them how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. Likewise also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way. So that was her works right there. Her faith with her, her, faith with her works. And it says for as, it says for as, um, it's like, it's like, it's like uh, uh, for as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. So you got to have faith with your words, man. You can't just be out here saying, I believe in God. I love God. God is my Savior. You got to show your works. You got to have some works. You know, you got to have some works to show the most high that you're sincere in this thing. Because you just, he not just going to, you know what I'm saying? He not just going to go by you saying, I have faith. Yeah, they put some words in. Just like that love word. When people say they love God, how are you showing God that you love him? Love is an action word. When you tell your girlfriend, you, when you tell your wife that you love her and you're not showing it, she's not going to believe you. She's going to keep, she's going to come, eventually she's going to say, I'm tired of hearing that. And you ain't showing me no action. You ain't showing it to me. You keep hitting on me. You know what I'm saying? You're doing all type of stuff. So how you love me? But if you had a work showing that you love her, she's going to be like, okay, okay, I believe you. You know, I believe that you love me. You know, you're giving me flowers. You know, you're reading with me. You're doing all type of stuff with me. That's your works with your wife. Same thing with the Most High. The Most High won't works from you when you say you love Him. The Most High won't works with Him. Then He said, "If you love me, uh, John fourteen to fifteen. If you love me, keep my commandments. That's your works right there. You keeping the commandments. You know. So that's that's just that's James chapter two. I was getting into James chapter two, man. That's hey, I, I advise everybody to read James. If you haven't read James yet, it's it's, it's a short book. It got like five or six chapters. It got five chapters in it. It's a very short book, but it's mighty, you know, so I advise everybody to go read James when you're free, you know, just go and get, read James. You know, so it's but the king, I want to give all honor and glory to the heavenly father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, I say Shalom, Kwan Yashurala.